That's the timing chain tensioner. I have to figure out how to retract it and lock it in. But that's it. Let's see here. I know it looks funny as hell, but these guys online that do a million of these, this is how they lock the cams in. They wedge paper towels in there and clamp these two guys down, which hold this block to the upper thing here. And you gotta take all these bolts out and get this off of the top of the head. But first, timing cover. So the timing chain tensioner is out and now I have to take off the other here <clears throat> this big freaking thing where I believe that's where the oil filter is I haven't really worked on these cars so I don't know yep that's what that's for I can see it so I take the oil filter housing off next and since the motor does support itself in here enough Back out of the way. Put the bin underneath that, and guess we'll pull that guy next. And then the timing chain case can come off. Yep, that's the oil filter housing. See? So the next thing, finally, is to take off the timing chain case. Oh boy! That is a lot of bolts right there. That should be all the bolts for the timing chain cover. So we're gonna try to get that off next. Oh, look at that, there it is. What a pain in the ass. Didn't have to take off the bolts on the side of the oil pan because it actually sticks down there. But, uh, should have drained the oil first. Oops. Yeah, you are breaking my heart, car. God damn it. It's got little chain in the inside and then big chain on the outside. Interesting. And here's some up here. That's it. All right, there we go. Timing chain off. There's the chain and the guides. All right, the cam case is off. right there. Progress. Ta-da! Cylinder heads off. Made a mess everywhere. So one of the important things we gotta look at, I'm gonna take the head gasket off. Make sure the pistons are even. So you can see here, that one is. That one is. And if you look down into the cylinder, you can see those two are also even. So that's fantastic. That means the engine didn't hydrolock and destroy itself. So we'll just gotta clean everything, put it back together, and it's back in action. See, I spilled more fucking coolant and oil and all sorts of stuff. What a mess. Actually, you know, it's funny. If you look at the exhaust manifold, too, you can see how cylinders one and two. You see some of the, like, see how there's not as much carbon buildup in those? Because there's steaming 
out these two cylinders. So, yeah. It's also why if you look at this piston, and the one down there, compared to these two, they're cleaner. So, at any rate, that's where I'm stopping for the night, and probably tomorrow too, because I got a bunch of shit to do. So I'll probably get back to this on Saturday, I think. At any rate, thanks for watching.